Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about the book Beyond Band of Brothers by Dick Winters. I have not read the original book Band of Brothers, but I have seen the HBO miniseries several times. So when this book first came out, I was quite excited. I thought this was going to like have lots more stories of battles and, and things like that. It really doesn't. He retells some of the battles that are in Band of Brothers, and he retells them from his point of view. You get to see what was going through his head, what his thoughts were. There are times when he's doing this where it almost feels a little self-aggrandizing, but I don't truly don't believe that it's meant to be self-aggrandizing. It's just how do you tell the story in which you played a key role and explain your role and explain your thought processes with, without it almost feeling like you're bragging kind of a thing. Especially, you know, like the scene where, where they're in the ditch and they're trapped by machine gun fire and he jumps up and starts running side to side with fire going on all around him you know, to kick the men to get them in action. How, how do you tell a story about you being the person who's jumping up with bullets whizzing around you without it almost sounding a little bit self-aggrandizing? So I truly don't believe it. it's meant that way at all. What the book really, really gets into, though, is Dick Winter's personal philosophies, his, his personal musings. He, he talks about his thoughts on leadership, especially leadership towards men in combat. Uh, some really, really good thoughts on leadership in the book. If you're, if you're a person who likes books on leadership, I would recommend this book. I mean, if you've seen the series, then you know that when he's telling his stories in the book, he's not making it up and he's not blowing it out of proportion to make himself look great, the men tell the exact same stories about what he did. In fact, there are times when he's trying very hard. You can tell he's trying to play down his role and build up everyone else's role in the scene. So when someone like that, who really, in my opinion, was just a truly wonderful leader, if I had to go to war, I would want, I, I did go to war, but if I had to go to war again, I would want it to be under someone like Dick Winters. I, I would want to follow someone like him. So when he explains things about leadership, I listen. He, he takes some points of view that as a Marine who served in Desert Storm, I thought were refreshing. I thought were wonderful. They are very politically incorrect and they go against what society teaches and these aren't viewpoints on leadership these are viewpoints on killing in a war situation his personal views on killing the enemy when you're at war how it made him feel what his thoughts were if you're someone who's bought into the current politically correct idea of how something like that should make a, a warrior feel when they're in combat, yeah, you're going to get a bit of a shock based on what he says. And I can tell you, as a Marine who has been to war, I fully agree with everything that he said on the subject of killing the enemy, of turning men into killers for the sake of combat. It's it's quite interesting and it will be quite different for a lot of people who listen to it. There will definitely be those who will be like me who will agree wholeheartedly and will feel it's refreshing that someone is finally willing to be open and honest about this subject. And then there's other people who are probably going to be quite upset at him. And just for those people know that there's a lot of us out there who actually agree with him on that subject. And I'm not going to say what his opinion is. If you want to know, listen to the book. Narration is wonderful. I really enjoyed the narration. He does bring news stories in, but the news stories aren't 
combat stories. The news stories have to do like like there's stories about a family that adopts him while he's in England. There are stories about some of the leadership decisions from the inside. So with Band of Brothers, you got to see what happened from the outside. You know, the men underneath, but you didn't get to see the top decision makers' actions and reactions. Here you get to see the top decision makers' actions and reactions. It's it's a really, really good book. I'm excited that I listened to it. I definitely recommend this book. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, send them my way. I'd be curious... If you've read the book or listened to the book, I'd be curious if you'd let me know what you think about Dick Winter's views on killing in combat. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And most of all, I hope that today you read or listen to at least one really good book. Thank you.